Hey there. So today, doing something I've been putting off for a while. I am removing, well, I removed the cushion grip. And now I'm removing the reline it. Look at my bottom dentures. Look at that. Look how scruffy it is in there right now. Look at that. Oh, that's just, you probably can't really tell. Yeah, that's the screwdriver. Wrong thing to use, probably. But anyway, some point today, I don't know when, depends how long this takes. I am going to put a layer, a new layer, keep shaking the table, of denture fit. I got a friend, thank you, who sent me denture fit that he had ordered that apparently he doesn't need anymore. He got implants so along those lines. I really hope he doesn't need it because I'm going to feel really bad if for whatever reason he needs it. He sent me a whole kit. Like the three tubes, everything. So... I've been dreading picking this reline out because it's been in there for a long time and you know the cushion grip came out relatively easy I mean it wasn't like last time where it took me about 20 seconds this took me maybe a minute so that was fine but I've got Reline it has been sitting in here for way too long. And now that I started this, I have to finish this. And so hopefully I'll be back later making a video about Reline it. No, not Reline it. What's it called? Denture Fit. That will be the second part of this video. So. Hopefully I see you later. If I don't, then you'll probably never see this video. And look at this. The cat, one thing, Cash, the black cat, he's a goddamn rock star. He's Elvis. And Frankie thinks she's some sort of queen. I don't know. My girlfriend thinks he's really cute. I really like the cash one, so I can't complain. So, all right, I'll be back later. Okay, <clears throat> so I got 85% of the read lined out. Now, when I've done this before, I've done about the same. You know, once that stuff sits in there for a month or two, it's, you know, it's about impossible to get it all out. So, anyway, so you get your denture fit, right? You get your your tube, you get your primer, you get your cotton swab that it comes with. Don't use a Q-tip. Of course, you, yeah, you want to come hang out now? Fuck. Anyway. I don't know why, this is very easy to do, but it always makes me nervous. Just, I think, just because this stuff costs so much, it's like with a reline it, I, I just throw that stuff in there, I don't even care. If I screw it up, it's five bucks. This stuff, it's like, it's like this kit was like $70, which I really think is outrageous. So, what you're supposed to do, clean. And dry your dentures. Okay, done. I washed them with Dawn. Took the hair dryer to them, made sure they were dry. Poured some alcohol on there. Let that evaporate. Threw the hair dryer on it for about 10 seconds just to make sure that was all dry. So everything's all dry. And then what you do, you take your little doohickey, Q-tip thing into your primer which 
There is not much in here. That is going to be a problem if I do the tops. I may not. I may just call denture fit. Anyway, you take a good dip, dip it in the primer. Then you want to prime. You want to get all of it in the. What do they call that? Crack? No. Trough. Trough? Yeah. Get all that primed. You want to do the sides up here, down in here, on the bottom, just, just to make sure it sticks to it, right? And then once you do that, you got to let it sit for two minutes. This is all according to directions, which I looked up online because there weren't any directions in this box that I know of. I might have messed up and thrown them away, but I don't think I did. <coughs> so you let them sit for two minutes. So I'm going to do that now, and then I'll be back in two minutes. It's been two minutes. Okay, so I got that all primered. Take your, take your little deal of silicone thing. Want to make sure they're on here. There is an arrow. You want to twist the way the arrow says. They make a really big deal of that. I don't know what happens if you twist the other way. I'm not going to find out. Now, if you're doing your bottom dentures, you got to have your top dentures in. You can't do it by itself. You gotta have something for it to bite down and line up all that good stuff so here we go we're gonna do this now once you start applying it into your trough into there you have like 15 seconds to get it in your mouth so you gotta have your hat on I should have your hat on backwards for speed let's see if I can tilt this camera down if I'm smart enough to do that. Hey, good job, cat. Thanks for knocking my box. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright, so here we go. I got 15 seconds on the start. So crack it. There, hear the click? I hope you did. I don't know how well you guys can see this. It's starting to come out. There it is. I don't really know how much to put in there. I feel like my bottoms are the loosest, so we're gonna put pretty much all of it in there. Oh, which, which I did. Now I got 15 seconds. Hopefully, I got time. Tilt this back up. Okay. Okay. 15 seconds. 15 seconds. And then you put it in. Four minutes. You don't want to bite down too hard, because then it's all going to just. So, I'll be back. Alright, four minutes is up. Now. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, there's a little bit that lashed over the side, right? You can see it. A hair on the part here. Down there. Which, I don't, I hate. I understand that it does it, and that's fine. But I'm always afraid when I trim it, I'm going to trim it, like, back too far. And the whole thing is going to lift out. I don't know if they fit any better than they did with cushion grip. They feel better than they did with cushion grip. So, I mean, that's a plus. I mean, they didn't feel bad with cushion grip. Don't get me wrong. 
I'm not bashing on cushion grip. So anyway, now I am supposed to let these air dry for two hours. It says you can leave them in water or whatever. And look at that shit. I just pulled part of it out. I, I don't know why I have such a hard time with this stuff. So. Alright guys. That's it. I'm going to go let these sit for two hours. However long. Should have ate lunch. Beforehand. Sounds like peanut butter jelly sandwich is going to happen next. Yes. Alright. I'm frustrated. But that's the way it goes. I'll find out in two hours. So you guys have a good day. Enjoy your weekend. All that good stuff. If you want to subscribe, do it. If you want to laugh at me, do it. All that usual stuff people say after at the end of a video. Subscribe, smash that like button, blah. Uh, Alright guys. Peace out. Have fun.